Okay, so here's our first question. How much calcium oxide is it theoretically possible to make from a kilogram of calcium carbonate? So a calcium carbonate turning into calcium oxide. First step is to work out our relative formula masses of those two things. Um, 40, 12, 16 for oxygen, but we need to multiply it by 3, CaCO3. Um, and then the same thing for calcium oxide. Look at our periodic table. It's 40 and 60. Add those things together. That is 56. Okay, um, our second step is to divide the formula mass of the unknown, which is the calcium oxide, by the known compound calcium carbonate. So we know calcium carbonate's a kilogram, we don't know how much calcium oxide we've got. So that's 56 divided by 100. Our answer's from the previous question, and that works out as 0 0.56. Our final step is to multiply the answer we've got from that part by the amount of the known chemical. I know that I've got one kilogram of calcium carbonate. I need to find out how much calcium oxide I've got. So I take 0 0.56 and I multiply it by one kilogram and that tells me that I have 0 0.56 kilograms of calcium oxide produced from this reaction. Here's a second question for you to have a go at now. How much magnesium oxide is produced from 100 grams of magnesium in the reaction below? Pause the video, give it a go. Let's have a look at the answers to those questions then. The first step is to work out the relative formula mass of the magnesium and the magnesium oxide. Um, for magnesium, we need to look up on our period of table and find that it's 24, but there are in fact two atoms of magnesium there, so that works out as 48. And then we need to do the same thing for magnesium oxide. Um, it's 2 MgO, so there's two magnesiums, two oxygens. So the magnesium part will be 48, the oxygen part will be 2 times 16. So that then works out at, if we add all those things together on our calculator really quickly, 48 plus 32 equals 80. Okay, the second part of that question is then to divide the formula mass of the unknown compound, which is going to be 80, by the formula mass of the known one, magnesium, 48, and that is going to equal 1.67, or 1.66 recurring. We then take that answer, 1.67, and we multiply it by the amount of known chemical. We've got 100 grams of magnesium. That means that we're going to end up with 167 grams of magnesium oxide. Okay, here's another question for you to have a go at. How much magnesium sulfate is it possible to make from 100 grams of zinc sulfate? Pause the video and give the question a go. And so, first step is to work out the relative formula masses of both. I've shown you those there. 161 and 126. You then need to divide the formula mass of the unknown compound, which is going to be your magnesium sulfate, which would be 126. You divide that by the known one, which is zinc sulfate. I know I've got 100 grams of that, 161. And when I do 126 divided by 161, that works out at 0.78. I then need to multiply that answer 0 0.78 by the 100 grams of zinc sulfate that I started with. That works out 78 grams of magnesium sulfate. Okay, and a final few questions for you to have a go. Pause the video and give these three questions a go.